you tell me how you got started with Operation Lane? Susan, I was 21 years old uh, with a very bad skin and I had a lovely lady that gave me a youth child as a gift. After three weeks, I was so amazed with the skincare results and my confidence as everybody wanted it and I had no money. So I just had to join and it was amazing. Were you working at the time? Yes, I was a secretary. My mother had me doing secretarial as there was no money to go and study to become the psychiatrist that I would love to be. And I ended up doing Aversland part-time. But in the first month, I earned more money part-time with no lipsticks, no knowledge, no confidence than I earned a whole month working every single day. Really? Yes. So when you try to inspire somebody with your story today, what, what, how would you tell them that story? What do you say? I really believe that we need to discover who we are by allowing other people into our lives and following your dreams and really listening to your heart and, and looking up to role models. Find that special person that you can follow and become the person you were born to be within that person by learning from everybody the best you could. How do you learn to run a business when you're that young? When I look back now, I really realize that the right people in your life at the right time, there's a season for a reason, and that we should try to learn from people the best we could. So you need a business mentor, you need a spiritual mentor, you need a person that can be right beside you, the person that you give the right to reprimand you, to train you, to teach you, to coach you. So Corin really saw that person who I could become in me, and she was the area distributor at the time, and the first day she saw me, she said, you're a ma manager. And I'm like, I can't even open my mouth. What are you talking about? I don't have any confidence, no training. And then I met amazing people like Rihanna. She was the regional director and she said to me, and that's why even every year you'll see my nails is quite a trademark. Um, that's my individual me. Every year with my birthday, I put a butterfly on my nails because she said that it's that metamorphosis we have to go through and become the butterfly we were born to be by following a heart. And you feel like you've done that? Yes, I love my life. Every day is a new story, a new journey, new people, new coaches, new mentors, and hopefully also the new role model that you would like to be to help others believe in themselves. But were you a confident person when no, you first started? No, not at all. With the right leaders next to you, you can become confident sometimes forcing you to do things that you don't want to do, but people believe that you could do. Getting on stage the first time, talking in front of people, um, standing the first time in front of somebody, doing their makeup, and you see their face looking back at you with a confidence and the love, and someone uh, 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 just achieving that, and in that, in everybody's accomplishments and their self-worth that grow, and their confidence, it just grows your confidence every day more and more. How do you pass that positive attitude on to others? It's a, it's a way of life. You can't fake it. It's a, it's a living daily, showing them, living what you believe, passion, touching people, being out there, before them, behind them, next to them. So they see it and they know that they too can, yes. can have that same confidence. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Thank and, you, uh, I look forward to seeing you the next time. And, and I hope you've had a good time here in Johannesburg. It was lovely. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.